Once a person has decided that they are going to go on Medicare, the next decision will be how they're going to use their Medicare benefits. And there's only two options. Either we go with a supplemental plan or we go with an Advantage plan. And two of the top companies uh, around the country right now would be Humana and Aetna. And so if you decide to do an Advantage plan, you're probably looking at these two companies. So what I'm going to do is show you what to look for to make sure that when you make this decision to be covered by an Advantage plan, you're going to be choosing the right one. So what I've done is I've gone to a particular market and I've selected two uh, very popular PPO plans in that market. Now, keep in mind, uh, your market's different. Uh, you may be in an area where there could be 50 or 60 different options. In this particular market, there happen to be 20 plans. Half of those were HMOs and half were PPOs. And so I just selected two of the top PPO plans. Now, uh, before we get into those details, one thing you have to be mindful of is when you go on an Advantage plan, it is going to be one of two types of networks, either an HMO or a PPO. Now, the difference is HMO plans require that you stay in their network. You cannot go out of a network on an HMO plan other than it's an emergency situation or urgent care. If you have a PPO plan, you have the right to go out of the network. Now, when that happens, it costs you more money to go out of the network, but you can still do so. And so when we, when we talk about Advantage plans, it's always going to be a network plan. And so we never get real excited about the details of an Advantage plan until we first make sure that our providers are in that network. Uh, and so if you have a primary care doctor that you want to see, or maybe a cardiologist or a dermatologist that you want to see, you always have to make sure that your providers will be in the network because most people don't want to have to change their doctors. The second thing we've done after we have checked our providers, uh, we want to make sure that um, uh, our, our prescription drugs are covered well because all Advantage plans are going to have an embedded prescription drug plan. So you have to make sure that uh, your drugs are going to be covered well and very low copays, and you can go to the pharmacy that you want to. And so once we've decided upon, yes, this plan is going to work for my providers, my doctors, specialist hospitals, and that my prescription are going to be covered well, then we can get into the, the details of the coverage of those plans. And so that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at Humana uh, versus, um, uh, versus Aetna. And so again, these are both PPO plans. And and so both of these plans are going to be the same when it comes to premium. You'll notice that as you look on your screen here, the premium. And again, the majority of Advantage plans are going to be a zero premium. Now, we still have to pay Medicare. Remember our Part B premium. This year, that's $164.90 a month. It comes out of your Social Security check or they bill you for that on a quarterly basis. But we got to pay them. But usually these plans are not going to charge you anything to be on their plan. So that's what we mean by the zero premium. And so as we compare some of the real important parts, the th first thing is is we want to look at um, the deductible. Does this plan have a deductible? And you'll notice that Humana and Aetna both uh, are zero deductible. And, and again, that's going to be the norm. There are some that will have a deductible. So if a plan is a deductible, that means you're going to have to meet that before the plan begins to pay anything. But again, these have a zero deductible. Now we're going to notice uh, a real important feature here that's second called the uh, max out of pocket. Now you'll notice they emphasize here the medical max out of pocket because uh, we have an embedded drug plan, but the max out of pocket here is only for our inpatient, outpatient services, has nothing to do at all with our prescription medication. That's going to have its own out of pocket expenses. So this would be inpatient, outpatient. So the most for the whole year uh, for this Humana plan is $5,900, which means once you hit that max, uh, you're, you're done. You don't have to pay any additional out of pocket. The Aetna plan is substantially lower. Look at that. It's $3,800 max out of pocket. So what that means as we go through and we look at our co-pays for our specialists or for our hospitals, all those co-pays are going to be applied towards the max out of pocket. And again, once we reach it, then we can put our checkbook away. So obviously on this Aetna plan, uh, we can put our checkbook away much quicker because that has a much lower max out of pocket. All right, so that's one issue. Uh, zero premium, max out of pocket is different. Now you'll notice here when it comes to the doctor office visit, this is your primary care physician. Both of them uh, are going to have a zero copay. And again, as long as you're in network. Now, now, if you were to go out of the network, uh, both of these plans allow you to do that. Remember, they're PPOs. Aetna has a 45% co-insurance if you go out of the network. Uh, Humana is not listed here, but I, I looked it up, and it's actually 50%. So again, very similar. And again, that's why we typically want to stay within our network, because it's going to cost us uh, substantially less. And so it's going to be zero copay for a primary care doctor. But when it comes to the specialist, we'll notice Humana is going to be a little bit higher, $45 versus $35. And again, not 
not significant, but we pay attention to these details and we record these details because at the end of the day, when we've made all these comparisons, we want to see where are we going to get our best value. And then when it comes to skilled nursing facility, um, now you're going to notice here that with Humana, uh, we had a zero copay for the first 20 days, so it wouldn't cost us anything. Aetna is going to be $10 a day. Again, uh, if we're in a, a skilled nursing stay for uh, those 20 days, so the difference is $200. So it costs a little bit more to be on the Aetna plan if we went to skilled nursing. Now, to clarify skilled nursing, that means uh, someone needs some fairly intensive rehab. This would be after a stroke or a hip replacement. We go to skilled nursing facility for that inpatient rehab. Hey, just real quickly, if you're finding this video to be helpful, you can like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do so, that'll let YouTube know that this is helpful information and they'll send it out to others who also need to learn about Medicare. Now, let me clarify, when we go to a skilled nursing facility, this is after someone's had a hip replacement, possibly a stroke or maybe an injury or something, and they're going to skilled nursing for intensive rehab uh, because sometimes we get rehab at home, but this is called skilled nursing. And so you'll notice there is a difference between these two. Humana, uh, we have a zero copay for the first 20 days, but with Aetna, we have a $10 uh, a, a day copay. Now, the average stay in skilled nursing right now is 35 days, so most people uh, that are going to be on the Aetna plan are going to be $200 out of pocket versus zero on the Humana. Now, after we get beyond 20 days, then you're going to see these plans are the same. They have each of them have $196 a day copay for the next 80 days. All right. So again, just a little difference there. I would say Humana uh, kind of as a little bit favorable in, in that column for sure. Now, home health care, this is after someone typically has had a knee replacement and they go home for the rehab instead of having to go to skilled nursing facility. And you're going to notice there that's a zero copay um, uh, for those visits for that home health care agency to uh, give the rehab at home. All right, I'm going to skip down here to the emergency room visit. Again, you're going to notice they're the same, $110. So what this means is that, you know, you've gone to emergency room and um, uh, that's all you did. In other words, they didn't admit you to the hospital. So the out-of-pocket expense would be $110 for that emergency visit. And by the way, that's a bargain. The average emergency room visit today is probably somewhere between five dollars and $10,000. And so you just simply pay a very reasonable copay. Now, here's what happens. If we get admitted to the hospital uh, from the emergency room, then both of these plans are going to waive uh, the copay uh, that was charged for $110. All right, now uh, here's a big difference as far as when we look on the surface. Notice as we go to the hospital, so this is um, you know scheduled maybe a surgery in a hospital or we've had some kind of issue come up, we're going to the hospital and we've been admitted. And remember the difference, sometimes people go to the hospital and they're under observation. That is still considered by these plans outpatient. So this means you've been admitted by the doctor into the hospital. You'll notice that Humana charges you a daily copay uh, for eight days, and that daily copay is $270. And if you're in eight days, you would pay that that uh, that amount of money. Now, remember, this uh, out-of-pocket expense is being applied to Humana's max out-of-pocket. Remember, that was $5,900. So we're in the hospital uh, for eight days. That's $270 a day. And so that means we would have to pay $2,160 during that eight days. If we're in the ninth day thereafter, there's no copay whatsoever. Okay, so we just have to pay up to that limit. Also, also remember that um, this is each hospitalization. So if I'm in the hospital this time eight days, it cost me $2,160. And three or four months later, I'm back in for another eight days. Again, I have to pay uh, that additional amount. And all that's being applied to the max out of pocket. Now notice with Aetna, though, it's a $330 a day copay. So on the surface, we know it's $60 more, but notice it's only up to six days. And so after six days thereafter, it's going to be free. So in that situation, with Humana, I, I spent $2,160. With uh, Aetna, it'd be $330 times 60. That's $1,980. So though my daily copay is higher with Aetna, my overall max out of pocket, if I'm in six days, would actually be less with Aetna uh, because uh, after the six days, I have no more um, uh, copays that would be, would be uh, due. So those are some of the items that are certainly critical for us to compare. But there's a few of the things, details that you need to be paying attention to when you look at these plans. So I'm going to open this up and look at the uh, plan details first off with Humana. I'm going to go in here and talk about um, uh, like an ambulance trip. And so if we uh, have to go uh, to the hospital by ambulance, you'll notice that's a $290 copay. And here in a minute, we'll look at Aetna's. Also, uh, this particular plan with uh, Humana gives you an over-the-counter benefit. Now, the way this works, and Aetna is going to be the same as far as the service. They will give you either a catalog or you can go online, and you can uh, order over-the-counter items, and this is a quarterly benefit. And you'll notice here with Humana, that benefit is, is um, $50. 
So whether you go online or through their catalog, you can order $50 worth of over-the-counter items. You'd get these things at you know, CVS, Walmart, or, or, or uh, Walgreens, uh, but you can get it online, and they'll actually mail these things to you directly uh, to your home. So $50 um, every three months uh, for your budget for over-the-counter items. You'll notice you can go to the chiropractor, again, for $20. And again, that would be a chiropractor that's going to be in the network. Also notice down here, um, uh, they have, uh, Humana has hearing aids, and you'll see the copay on those hearing aids is what? Between $699 and $999. Uh, so that what they've done is they've selected some hearing aids they will cover, certain providers that you'll have to go to, and you just simply pay this reasonable copay, and then um, uh, uh, Humana would pay the balance of that. And you'll notice you get a, a hearing exam once a year as well. And then all the plans are going to include some type of a fitness benefit where typically it's called Silver Sneakers Network. And so as long as your gym or your community center or your YMCA will uh, take that network, then you can go there at no additional cost to you at all. They'll actually pay for your gym membership. All right. So now let's go back and look very quickly at um, Aetna's same benefits. So we'll start by looking. First off, we're going to look at Aetna if we were to have an ambulance ride. Now notice this one. It's 300 Forty dollars, so that's fifty dollars more for an Amos ride versus Aetna versus uh, Humana. Hey, my name is Josh Music, and if you've been enjoying my dad Marvin Music's content, you really need to go to our website, MedicareSchool.com. When you go there, you'll be given the opportunity to download a free one-hour Medicare Essentials workshop, and it's going to take you all the way from Medicare A to Z. By the time you're done watching that workshop, uh, you're going to know how to enroll in Medicare, when to enroll in Medicare. You're going to know the differences between Advantage plans, supplemental plans. You're going to know how to get drug coverage. You're going to know everything you need to know to get the best coverage possible. So go ahead, go to MedicareSchool.com and watch the Medicare Essentials Workshop. So beyond some of those key items between the plans uh, that we looked at, we want to dig just a little bit deeper. And so what you can do, you'll notice here on this side, it just says plan details. Then we can really get into the nitty gritty of all these plans. And so what I'd be doing, I'd looking at, uh, be looking at copays such as for an ambulance ride. Uh, with Humana, if you had to have an ambulance ride from home to the hospital, it'd be $290 copay. Uh, with that, and it's going to be $340 copay. So $50 difference there. Uh, and, and also uh, for outpatient procedures and outpatient surgeries. This would be for a knee replacement or for cataract surgery, something like that. So Humana's copay is $270, uh, and that covers everything at that outpatient facility. That's the nursing services, room and board, the anesthesiologist, as well as the surgeon. So again, $270 for uh, Aetna, it's going to be $315. So again, a little bit higher, about $45 more. And again, that doesn't seem like a significant amount, but as you can see, we're, we're, uh, there is uh, you know $50 here and uh, $25 here, and these certainly uh, can add up. In addition to that, uh, all the plans are going to offer uh, what we call perks. These are things that uh, original Medicare doesn't offer that Advantage plans will offer you. And those would first off be uh, what we call an over-the-counter benefit. And uh, this would be a benefit that is a quarterly amount. Uh, Humana right now is $50 a quarter and is $90 a quarter. And both of these companies would either allow you to order over-the-counter items online or through a catalog, and they will mail you those things uh, at no cost to you. And again, that would be a retail cost. And then we always tell people, be sure to use that benefit. If not, you'll lose it because it did not carry over from quarter to quarter. But each quarter, you'd get that credit for over-the-counter items. Uh, we also have dental benefits with all the plans. Now, there again, there's a little variation here because um, what, what Humana does is they will give you a $1,000 a year benefit for uh, dental, which would be any kind of uh, uh, you know, basic benefits, uh, cleanings, extractions, those kind of things, up to $1,000. But if someone wants more, then um, uh, Humana allows you actually to add a dental benefit to that. It's going to range anywhere from $30 to $50 more a month if you'd like to have really more than the $1,000. Uh, Aetna does not offer that. Aetna just gives you a flat $1,000 a year. Uh, you can typically go to any dentist you want. If you stay in network, the billing process this is probably a little bit easier, but if you've got a network, if the uh, dentist will not bill, then Medicare, uh, then Aetna would actually reimburse you up to $1,000 a year. So again, a little difference between the plans there. Uh, also, we have vision benefits, and they're pretty similar. Uh, the way Humana will do it is uh, you get one routine eye exam a year at zero copay, and they'll give you $100 a year credit towards eyewear for contacts or glasses. Uh, Aetna will be a zero copay for a routine eye exam, and then a $200 a year credit uh, for eyewear. Uh, we also have hearing aid benefits on both plans. And here, there's really quite a bit of difference because what Humana 
Indiana does is uh, they will give you uh, two types of hearing aid options. Uh, they have an advanced hearing aid and one that's a premium hearing aid. So the advanced uh, hearing aid copay is $499. Uh, the premium is $799. And so depending upon uh, which one of those will work for you, when it comes to Aetna's hearing aid benefit, uh, they just have a flat copay of $1,250, and you do have to use uh, their network to get those hearing aids. So again, if that would be a need, you'd want to make a comparison there. And then uh, both of these will offer gym membership. Uh, the network is called Silver Sneakers. So as long as the facility that you go to, whether it's a YMCA or Curves or a community center, if they take Silver Sneakers, then you can actually have a uh, membership at no cost to you. The Advantage Plan will actually pay for that. And so these are the perks. And as you can see, uh, they offer those, but there will be a little bit of variation between the two. And so as we look at these plans, you want to make sure, uh, again, as a review, uh, all of our providers are covered, the doctors, specialists, hospitals, our prescriptions are well covered, and then we look at the max out of pocket, we look at the different types of networks, whether it's an HMO or PPO, and then we look at the details as well. So again, this can be a tremendous amount of work as you look at uh, the multiple companies that offer plans and the multiple plans they offer. And so what uh, I would do if I were you, I would recommend using a broker like us, uh, and we actually can look at all these plans. We're well versed in all the markets to make sure that you understand the ins and outs of these plans to make sure that when you take that advantage plan, you're confident that you've selected the right one.